Buick has been building cars now for 110 years. And this is the Buick Enclave, the largest vehicle in Buick's fleet, available eight passenger seating. But in a different time, in a different era, well, Buick made a very different vehicle. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you something you're probably going to be very surprised to see. I know I was. This is the Buick Hellcat. Most outstanding, most sensational in Buick's imposing parade of war products is America's answer to tank dominance in battle, the Hellcat. The Hellcat was designed to carry five passengers and it weighed about 40,000 pounds, which sounds like a lot, but actually for its class, it was very light. It's powered by radial engines, one of the fastest tanks on the battlefield. And that was the whole point. It would come in, hit its target, and get the heck out. I'm now sitting in the tank with Bill, who is the gentleman who's restored this tank. And Bill, I don't know, I feel like we look kind of silly, but we're sitting in a tank, so we must look cool. Always look cool in the tank. So now that you have this thing, Bill, and I got to tell you, I'm incredibly jealous, uh, what, what's your goal? What are you going to do with it? Well, our goal is uh, to finish up the restoration. Uh, you know, we work, it, it's owned by the Sloan Museum here in Flint, Michigan, and uh, on occasion we do get it out and do a few things. We work on it, and of course it goes back because there's a lot of people want to see what it is. Right. Now, yeah, talk a little bit about uh, the Buick heritage to this vehicle. I'm, I mean, you were telling me some things earlier, but I think it's fascinating. It was actually designed by Harley Earl and his team. Yes, yeah, absolutely. It was done that, and the, all the engineering was done at Buick. Uh, the assembly was done at Buick. A lot of different divisions helped with it. Uh, the Cannon was built by Ozenbill. The, the transmission is built by uh, Hydromatic. Um, and then, of course, the hull was, we believe, was built at the Grand Blank Tank plant. Then it was shipped to Buick where it was assembled and tested. Okay. And they tested them. They ran them 50 miles before they ever left Buick to make sure they were right the first time. It's a, uh, an airplane, a rotary engine, is that yeah, right? Yeah, it's a 975 cubic inch uh, Continental. Okay. That's actually called a C4 975. It has a supercharger into it. Wow. And at 2,500 RPM, it puts out 450 horse. And uh, this is a light tank as far as tanks go. So what yeah. kind of uh, speeds could it attain? This machine will run, it's rated at 55. Uh, we talked to some of the old veterans. And of course, when you're a kid, you got, you know, you got a free tank to play with. They would jack the governor. I had a tank to play 70, with too, 72. but uh, it fit in my palm of my hand. This is, uh, <laughs> this is way more fun. <laughs> it's a lot of fun to go at speed. It, it rides beautiful. Torsion bar suspension. Well, it's a Buick. Of course it does. Yeah, there you go. It don't get any better. <laughs> I feel uh, a quiet tuning happening in here. Now, and the seat's very comfortable too, and it's got some uh, fore and aft adjust. I mean, yes, it'll go this is a Buick uh, right to the core, isn't oh, it? Oh, absolutely. That's unbelievable. And, uh, and what do you plan to do with it? I mean, what's, uh, what's your goal with this, ve this vehicle, this tank? We uh, want to finish the restoration onto it. We want to keep it operational as long as we have to honor the veterans, not only World Good. War II, but the ones serving now and our future veterans, because right. it's a, we have a long military heritage, which is a very proud one. And these guys, they mean a lot to us. Yeah, and you talk about the veterans. When uh, you encounter somebody who maybe actually did some service in one of these, uh, in some field in the middle of Holland or something at once upon a time, how, what sort of reaction do you get from them? Well, I'll, I can tell you a quick story. We had a veteran who was a gunner on one of these we brought out. Okay. And uh, we took him for a ride in it. He told us some fantastic that stories of what happened to him. That must memories for him. And it wow. actually brought him to tears. He there said, I never thought I'd ever get to ride in one again. Was it a generally positive experience or was it both? I've never heard anything bad said about the Hellcat. It okay. was a very nice, great machine to ride. It was, it was comfortable. Like I said, it was very fast. Right. You get into, you get out of trouble as fast as you get into it. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's that's good. And when you're in the battlefield, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Wow, what a, what a beast. Well, um, I understand we might be able to go for a little ride in this thing. Yes, absolutely. All right, Bill, fire it up. All righty. And here it is, the fighting Hellcat in action. 